Hi, everybody. Uh, I have primed my face. I used my spray primer, my hemp oil, and a new primer, which I'm not going to talk to you guys about yet. But the main thing that I want to go over today in this video is... But in. I got new brushes. I'm not used to using brushes like this. Um, I'm very much so a beauty blender kind of person when it comes to foundation and even contour and stuff. I use my beauty blender for just about everything. So these are handle brushes. They're very, very soft. These are by Moda. And this is the Rose, Rose collection. Um, they're very light, they're small. I do really like the handle. It feels good, it's got a texture on it. But one thing I really like is that they're flexible. Um, So we're going to see how these work. Now this is the foundation brush and it's meant for liquid or cream foundation. Um, these aren't really going to work so well for powder application, but we're going to uh, go ahead and see how they work in general. So they are very soft, they're quite densely packed. which is a good thing. And this particular set came in four different sizes. So you had the foundation, this one is your blush and bronzer. This is your contour and this is your concealer. And they all feel about the same and they all have just about the same kind of dome top. The contour one is a little bit angled, but not by much. And then the brush one, the blush one, is just a little bit more of a dome on top. So in order to use this brush set, I'm going to use the most liquid foundation I have, which is my NYX Drop Foundation. And instead of, usually when I use this, I put it directly on the brush, I'm going to put it directly on my face and then blend it out from there. All right, I actually really like that. It was a little bit messier than using a sponge or one of the other brushes that I have, especially for that foundation. But I feel like it would have worked really well for a cream foundation. So I got it everywhere though. And obviously the brush as opposed to the beauty blender or the sponge doesn't absorb quite as much product so it actually is a little bit more full coverage by using the brush one of the other things I worry about with using a brush is it's streaking but that actually didn't streak so you I mean you saw me I went over it a lot um, don't like streaky makeup but it worked out pretty well I actually so far like it so next I'm gonna do concealer which is going to be the little tiny brush
All right, so the little brush worked okay on my nose and like on my cupid's bow. And even for getting right underneath my eye, it worked well, but it just wasn't big enough to blend out evenly. So that's why I switched up to the contour brush, um, which works so very this well. this incredibly pink look um, is brought to you by Jeffree Star. I love his pinks. Absolutely adore them. For contour and blush and stuff, I am going to use my powder stuff because that's what I prefer. However, I'm going to wet this bad boy and see if I can't get it to do what I want it to. I really like these brushes, honestly. Okay, so blush and highlighter are next. Uh, like I said, I'm not, for all this stuff, I'm not using anything new other than the priming serum, which again, I'm not telling you guys about yet. But not using anything new right now, just the brushes. I just feel like the brushes are very easy to use. They are actually a little bit more precise than regular brushes or the beauty blender. I actually really like them. I did try the little one as an eye brush. It's just too dense. It doesn't it doesn't work. That's not what it's for anyway, but I figured I'd try it. Um, the other thing that I got, which I will use, hmm, is a lip gloss. And I've got two of them, and they're both Revlon. This one is the Vinyl Lip Polish, and this one is the Super Lustrous Gloss. But they put the tag over the name of it. This one is Pink Obsessed, and this one... This one's birthday suit. So I think I'm gonna go with this one for now because it matches my eyes and we'll see. I have hemp oil all over me, I can't open it. Okay, so it's not as sticky as it was going to be which is a great thing it's definitely wet it, it's actually it's a little heavy um, it's actually heavier than the liquid mats that I wear so quite heavy I didn't like how big the doe foot was either I couldn't get my nice my nice points on my uh, on my cupid's bow it's so wet. That's what she said. Alright, that's better. I put uh, my lip... I 
mirror, sorry. Um, I put my lip crayon on as well to fix the shape of it. So that helped a lot. It's still very shiny though. Very shiny. All right, y'all, so there we have it. There's my face. It's very pink today. I really like it. My eyes aren't even. My tails aren't even. Um, so I, I'm in love with this brush set. The lip gloss, not so much, but I'm in love with this brush set. And I found it a lot easier to use, honestly, than even the Beauty Blender. And I just feel like it honestly looks better on my skin than using the Beauty Blender or the softer brushes. Like, it's just so even. And it blended out very well, and everything looks very nice. As always, I love you. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.